G'day everyone, how you going? I just want to share this one. People often hear me say, raise your vibrations. Um, I'm not sure if everyone knows what I'm talking about, but hey, let's have a look at this. The most obvious physical symptom of raising your vibration is that look and most and feel more joyful. You start manifesting more of what is good and you start experiencing less stress, bad luck, even accidents. A negative vibration can attract more of what is harmony with what that negativity. Same is true for attracting positive entry energy. When you raise your vibration, you do so much more than better feeling. You start to create a whole new different life. Making a deliberate effort to raise your vibration is not always easy when you feel stuck in a negative vibe. Taking small steps, however, can lift you and within a short period of time, you can attract more and more positive energy. Energy is everything. Energy, everything is energy. Always keep this in mind as you think about your and contemplate your own vibration. Understanding your vibration and raising your vibration. In very basic terms, your vibration is the way you feel. This is not much about feeling elevated emotions like when you are particularly happy, sad or angry. Your vibration, vibration me, refers more to a dominant emotional state. To look at your vibration as just the way you feel in general is a very superficial way of looking at the vibration as there's more to it. Why is it important to understand vibration? Because vibration is everything. The law of vibration is the primary law and the law of attraction works within this law. Your vibration is a complex soup of your mental, emotional and physical state. They all tend to feel into each other to create your vibration and at any given point in time. It is your vibration that emits an energy that ultimately dictates what you to attract back into your life. The challenge we face as human beings is that most of us cannot see our vibrations. We cannot see this energy field that surrounds us. Some people can, and there's been many attempts to capture this energy field. Carl and photography in the 1930s clearly illustrated this fact. Our thoughts lead our, to our feelings, and combination of thought and feelings will mostly make up your vibrational state. Much of the law of attraction teaching focuses on thought, but in reality, it is the thoughts that it lead to that is important. You can think about making a lot of money all day long, but those thoughts lead to feelings of fear, lack, scarcity and worry, then you'll attract what those matches those emotions. While most of us can't see our own vibrations, we certainly can see the physical symptoms of raising your vibration. Like the wind, you can't see the wind, but you can see its effects. You can feel it on your skin, you can see the trees moving, the leaves blowing because of the wound. So, what are the physical symptoms of raising your vibration? How can we become more aware of where we are vibrationally? By paying attention to the effects of the symptoms of your vibration, you can more accurately gauge where you are vibrationally. The nine physical symptoms of raising your vibration. The easiest way to judge your own vibration is to look at your sim the symptoms. While you cannot always see your vibration, you can see its effects, the symptoms, your vibration doesn't always have an instant manifestation in physical form. There is a lag time between the energy that you put out and the energy that you attract back. When you catch a virus, there's an incubation time before you start seeing the symptoms. Keep this in mind when you start looking for symptoms and always judge your vibration on how you feel at any given point in time. Here are nine physical symptoms of raising your vibration which can help you across your own vibration and help you see and understand the effects of your effort to raise your vibration. One, you start attracting more of what you really want. One of the physical symptoms of raising your vibration is that you will start manifesting more of what you intend to manifest. This does not mean that your Ferrari will be waiting in your driveway tomorrow morning. What it does mean is that you will start manifesting more small things that align with your higher intentions. Looking at what is manifesting in your life is usually the best way to judge what is dominant vibration is. Two, you start attracting people who are aligned with your intentions. The universe uses people more than anything else to align and manifest our desires. One of the physical symptoms of raising your vibrations can be seen in the people you manifest in your life. When people with low vibrations leave your life for whatever reason, it is usually a sign that your vibration was raised and they could no longer match it. Start paying attention to the people who are coming into your life and pay particular attention to that vibration. 
you will only attract or repel people who are in alignment with your vibration. Three, you start to have less stress. When you are always rushing, always worried and fearful, then you will be in stress. Placing your mind and your body under stress causes you to go into survival mode. When you are in survival, you cannot flourish because the goal of survival is just to keep you safe. When you raise your vibrations, you lift yourself out of stress. Your mind and your body snaps out of that fearful mode and you start feeling calmer and more relaxed. Stress is a very low vibration because it contracts. Four, you start having more physical and emotional energy. When you are in a high vibration, you have boundless energy. When you feel that spring in your step and you feel a lust for life, everything starts to look different. One of the physical symptoms of raising your vibration is that you start feeling more energetic, both physically and emotionally. When you're in a low vibration, you feel depleted, drained, and consistently reaching for something to get you through the day. Five, you'll feel happier and more joyful. One of the most obvious symptoms of raising your vibration is that you have more joy and happiness in your life. Joy is the first and most obvious sign of a high vibration. Pleasure comes from doing things that you think will make you happy or gives artificial hope happiness for a short period of time. Joy comes from within. It is when you are connected with your true nature, which is always joyful. You cannot feel joy if you're in a low vibration. Six, your body posture, your body language and posture changes. If you think about a depressed person, what does their body language and posture look like? Slump, contracted, slow and laboured. Someone who is in a high vibration looks very different. They move with purpose, they are upright, energetic and you can almost sense their presence because their energy and their vibration is so high. 7. You look more vibrant and radiant. When someone is in a very high vibration, you can almost see it. You certainly can sense it and feel it. Being in their presence feels good. When people comment how great you look for no reason, it's not because of those new earrings. You've raised your vibration and you be become evident in your being, and others will definitely notice this. You'll be able to feel this. You'll feel on top of the world, happy for no reason, and ready to take on the world. Eight, the words you use and conversations you have. One of the least obvious physical symptoms of raising your brave vibration is in how you change your words and conversations change. Most people habitually use the words that lower their vibration. Most people habitually participate in conversation and gossip that lowers their vibration. When you raise your vibration, you become more aware of what you think and say. Negative conversations start to put you off and you feel like you can no longer be a part of it. Nine, the content of your dreams change. While this is not the most common physical symptom of raising your vibration, it's a very powerful one. When you're stressed out, fearful, angry, and even depressed about current life events or your circumstances, it tends to get amplified at bedtime. <clears throat> your fears and worries often start to surface when you finally quit your mind, quiet your mind. This often leads to restless nights, poor quality of sleep, even insomnia. When you raise your vibration, especially before bedtime, you will see and feel a noticeable difference in your sleep and the content of your dreams. Your dreams will be more aligned with positive, empowering and beautiful things when you raise your vibration. 13. Easy ways to raise your vibration. Now that you know the physical symptoms of how raising your vibration, the obvious question is how? If your symptoms do not reflect a high vibration, how can you change it? Raising your vibration is not as nearly complicated as most people think. It is as simple as changing your mental focus. Your mind can only focus on one thing at a time. When you change your focus, you shift your thinking and consequently the way you feel and your vibration changes. You never have to be stuck in a low vibration. By reaching for a better thought, you can instantly start moving yourself to a higher vibration. Here are quick, 13 quick easy ways to raise your vibration. Be grateful. Gratitude instantly shifts you from what is lacking or missing to what you already have. Grab a pen and paper. Write down five things that you are grateful for. This instantly raises your vibration. Meditate. Meditation quotes in the mind and removes all the character, chatter, 
that is often scanted around negative and disempowering ideas. When you quit your mind and you go within, you reconnect with your higher self. When you experience inner peace, your vibration lifts. Spend time with nature. When you spend time with nature, you connect with the source of all life. When you are in nature, you can unplug from the man-made world and all the troubles that tend to drag you down vibrationally. Random acts of kindness. Do something kind for someone else without expecting anything in return. Giving your time, money or energy instantly raises your vibration because it's in our nature to give and share. Move your body. Physical movement and exercise is the fastest way to snap out of a low vibrational state. Exercise stimulates endorphins that forces you to feel better. Dance, walk, do some sport. Sleep. Most people don't get enough sleep. They rarely get enough. And if you're in a low vibrational state, do get some sleep and get enough. You will wake up refreshed and a new perspective. Read something positive and empowering. Reading something inspiring or empowering instantly lifts your mood and raises your vibration. Switch off to violence. The amount of violence on TV has, that has become normal is shocking. Most people have no idea how impactful this is on their vibrational level. Switch off from that. Switch off from social media. Social media has become an addiction for many, and it's nothing more than a distraction. It also has a tendency to draw us into false lives of everyone else's false lives. Consistently comparing yourself to others almost drags you down vibrationally. Set a new goal intention. When you set goal yourself a goal, even if it's a small one, it instantly injects you with some fresh energy which raises your vibration. Spend time with positive people. Happy, positive, and joyful people have the power to rub off on us. Spending time with someone like that can instantly raise your vibration. Laugh. Laughter is so powerful, it is a physical act that can instantly change your mood, relieve stress, worries, and snap you out of a negative state. And detox your diet. What you eat has a profound influence on how you feel. If you feel lethargic because of a poor diet, then you will be in a low vibration. So I hope this helps some people and, you know, they can put it to good use. So thank you, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching. Raise your vibrations. Much love. Bye now.